All right. So welcome back again. So today we will going to see radicals. Okay. I'll give you the quick definition and I'll tell you how to use it. Okay. So if 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 n is an actual number, is a natural number, n is a natural number, and nth root of a and nth root of b are two real numbers, real numbers, then, then what will happen is n A nth root of B is equal to nth root of A and B. Okay, that's it. That's the rule. The beauty of this rule is that it works in the vice versa. Okay, so let's check the answers, the uh, uh, questions. So if you have square root of 5, uh, square root of 7, which is I can write it as 5 times 7, which is square root of Okay, as simple as it is. The so product rule and uh, down the road I will discuss about the quotient rule. They are very powerful uh, while solving the very complex problems. They they becomes very handy. And uh, uh, if if you land up with a uh, awkward situation, like uh, if I give you square root of three, okay, times square root of twelve. So you know that square root of three, you all already hit the wrong bottom. Okay, so you cannot go further down. Uh, square root of twelve, uh, you can break it, but uh, you don't want to do right away. So what, what do you do? You you do three times twelve. Okay, so square root of thirty six, and which is equal to six. And you see that uh, the final answer, the final answer is three of the radical. And that is what we want. Number three. Okay, um, square root of two, square root of five, and of course, square root of 10. Then, um, then what I can do, I can do, I can do square root of 11 times square root of P, which is square root of 11 times P because without variable, algebra is not complete. Five, which is square root of seven times square root of eleven x y z, and the answer is seventy seven x y z. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Mm, three cube root of three times three cube root of 12 and you can easily write it down 3 cube root of 3 times 12 which is 3 cube root of 36 okay i'll give you some more examples 2 cube root of right now i will do cube root of 2 times fifth root of three. Okay, here, here, there is no solution. Why? Because if you see carefully, the product rule happily works, provided index is same. Okay, and last time, if I mention you correctly, you are in the, in the radicals, you should be seeing one is the first things first, you have to see the index and second thing, you have to see where the negative sign is sitting, okay? Fine, is sitting. Um, okay. Now, here, if I give you number eight, is six the root of n m to the power four times sixth root of five m. 
and which equal to equal to six to the power sixth root of n to the power four times five n sixth root of ten times five is fifty m fourth times m and uh, you know uh, with the exponent rule that you know from the exponent rule is that e to the power m e to the power n is e to the power m plus n and of course when we will do the exponent i will discuss this uh, rules as well in much details so your final answer is sixth root of 50 m to the power Okay, so this is a product rule. Um, uh, one thing is very clear that uh, to solve the uh, product rule or uh, to solve the radicals, you have you have to have a solid command over the exponents. And when we will go towards the deeper part, I'll give you a different different examples and I'll I'll prove my point. So okay, so we will stop here. And in the next video, we will look for the quotient. Okay. So if you don't have any questions, we can stop. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.